everyone, this is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the QQQs here today. Off yesterday, so I didn't look at the market. It's good to take a day off. Uh, well, I didn't have a day off. I still did work, but good to take a day off from actual charts. Someone emailed me something about volatility or uncertainty. Uncertainty. Someone said something about uncertainty. I don't even remember who emailed me about it. It was a couple of days ago. I think it was over the weekend. I don't see uncertainty here, but I see why people see the uncertainty here. I do not, but I can see why people are seeing that or thinking that there is a level of uncertainty, but there isn't. Just because the market gaps down doesn't mean it's going to collapse. And just because the market has a red day doesn't mean it's going to collapse. And just because the market runs red for four days doesn't mean it's going to collapse. And I know somebody said something about the reason, China, whatever. Again, I don't look at the reasons for things. It doesn't really matter. I look at the price action. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing here that shows any weakness or signifies any weakness in the market. Even though we gapped down yesterday and even though we're running red today, which I warned everyone and told everyone and said, I don't know if we hold immediately out of the gate today. I said we could. There's a small chance we could, but we may just pull in first before we hold. Do I think the market will recover today to the upside, meaning flip from red to green? Probably not. Probably not. But I do think the market ends up gapping neutral tomorrow morning or up and rallying tomorrow after I'm seeing the configuration here of this. So time of the, time of the year is July 28th. Friday's the 31st, 31 days in July. <laughs> I wouldn't even put it past the realm of possibility. And, and I'm not saying this happens. I'm not saying I have 100% conviction this happens this week. But I'm saying I wouldn't even put it past the realm of the possibility for the market to make a new high before the end of the month. <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I know that's only three more days. But I'm telling you, it very well could happen. I'm not saying that it's definitely going to happen. I'm not saying 100% conviction that it's going to make a new high by the 31st. But I'm saying I'm, I'm throwing it out there that it could. We are still going to make a new high. And if we don't do it by the end of this week, absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, we still will make another new high in the market and continue to rally. And it very well could happen in the middle of the summer in August. I don't, I don't see how it doesn't happen in August, actually. But I'm throwing it out that it could happen yet this week. Because once the buying comes into the market, there will be no stopping it. So some of this, I really think this is was selling here. What day was this? This is Friday. This was, I really think this was selling. People are a little bit concerned. So I think this was selling that happened on Friday. And then some follow through of the selling a little bit here in the gap from Monday. So there was some selling in here, some profit taking on Friday, and then a little bit of the follow through in here. And today you may have some people trying to short it, but I don't think it goes anywhere because the buying is going to support it. There's nothing that can support a chart in a bullish trend, which the market still is, unless you have buying. You must have buyers to support the price, which I believe is going to happen here today. So even though we're going to close today red, which I, I think it's unlikely we flip today to go green, there, there will be buyers that support the price in here not continuing lower, meaning not through this area. I actually think this area here, uh, this area here is going to hold. And we just are continuing to get stronger and stronger if you look at the bigger picture, except for most people don't. A lot of traders live in a vacuum. Even long-term traders live in vacuums. That's so weird to me. You know, the stuff you hear in the news and on the internet, I mean, long term, just, I'm, I'm not even talking long term. I'm just talking that this year, from last October, when I call what the market would do this year until now, just looking at this clip right here from October to July, I see just utter strength in this market, despite the fact that someone would look at it and say, we really haven't gone anywhere. We really haven't gone anywhere, and this really looks heavy. I don't see that. That's not what I see. I say, gosh, this is really showing so much strength. So the move is still going to happen to the upside very large. In fact, I just saw this now. You know what? Oh, I just saw this now. It's going to be when we make the next high. 
the big move that I've been talking about is going to be when we make the next highs, when we're going to get up to 120 ish, which was the we have to get up over 120 to make the new high. I just I just saw it here now. The next time we do it, whenever that is, so it's probably not going to be this week actually. It's probably not going to be this week. It's probably going to be in August. The next time that we get up over that area, I think we go over and really make a brand new all-time high in the QQQs. I just saw that now. So there you have it. I haven't looked at this for a while here. Doing any market videos for a while. So, geez. Well, it could be August or September then. I think the next time we do it, I, it's probably going to be August. We're going to just go. We're going to go and we're going to go and we're going to, we could rally the rest of the entire year then. Wow. Well, it'll be really exciting. It'll be really interesting to see if it plays out that way. But I really think it does. All right, this is Melissa with the thestockswoosh.com. If you're interested in more information on the next Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, August 1st and 2nd. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a good day.